Hey, Turtle Club guys, gals, everybody in between. It is I, Max Sinker, with Convertible Turtle Gaming. 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which means it's once again time for ARK Survival Evolved in our series called Mag vs. Wild. We are on our private public server cluster. Uh, the way we do that is one server is for our private members, uh, and it's clustered to a server that's more open to the public. It is family friendly. The uh, link to the server is in the description. Uh, as is a link to be able to host your own server through the same company I use. Real inexpensive, top-notch hosting. Uh, $16 per month for 60 slots. Uh, can't beat that, guys. Uh, we are waiting for said server to finish its update. S+, Plus um, has had a bumpy day today, to say the very least. And they've had, like, now five updates, I think. Uh, so we're, we're waiting for that to finish. As soon as that's finished, we'll be able to jump in and see how bad things are. Uh, and normally these are supposed to update, like, when I'm sleeping and not streaming and stuff. And it, for the most part, did, but apparently it didn't. There, there we go. All right, awesome. Hey, Purr, how's it going? All right, so we're going to jump in here. Refresh. Come on. All right. I see that it says it's up and running. It says it's active. Sometimes I just gotta give it a second. Okay. I know I can't jump on there because of the bad things that happened to me. So it's. Uh, it's up to date. It's waiting for players. Are we ready, game? So curious why it's not coming up. Let's go ahead and join Arc. Let's search. Nope. Okay. Well, we're gonna do this the the manual method then. Shut down the program and bootstrap into it. Um, interesting. Let's make sure the game's a little bit shut down then. Hey, back to do. I'm doing good, Per. Thank you for asking. Alright, I gotta. Alright. I got noise coming in. I got cursor saying it's getting ready to go. I don't think the IP address on the server were to change. Finding game, attempting to join. Okay. Installing one nod. Alright. So it looks like Brutal Arc has also updated. So uh, we're going to have to wait for Brutal Arc to update. <laughs> so yeah, that happens, I guess. All right. We are going to get in, though, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm getting, I'm mentally preparing to get wrecked because I just know that once I get in, it's going to be like, hey, Mag. Boom, boom, boom. Big, huge dinos. Time to die. But we'll find out. We'll find out. My goal today is to be taming a few of these gargantuan behemoth dodos that we have, as well as the the pteranodons and whatnot. So I'm, I'm waiting for that to happen. All right. So where are we at? Here, we need to get up Arc, Pteranodon. Of course, we tried to take down... I forget what it was. All right, so, we did, yeah. So, we need uh, Preferred Kibble's uh, Dodo Egg. So, yeah. He was on earlier. Got attacked. 
Uh, you're probably going to be the person to attack the, a, a lot for a bit, McAdoo. And the reason for that is you got on the server before um, before anybody else. And you brought yourself like a, a kit, right? <laughs> you brought yourself like a lot of stuff. And so that, yeah, that, that really bumped you up there. Um, did you survive? Because the, the next update is supposed to like announce to the whole entire server when the, the battle's over how it went. You're starving. Find something to eat. Okay, this is not good at this point. Um, I am starving. I shouldn't be anywhere near starving. Alright, let's, let's shove all my stuff that'll go in there in there. And skin. So I didn't die. That's good. Curious as to why I'm starving. I, I think the... Got no re got no ward. Okay. No. Oh, that's that's. Now no reward means you didn't get any arc, but sometimes you'll get experience points in this thing. Man, that green line. I don't know what that green line is, but it it's it scares me. All right. looks pretty calm and quiet so far my little I mean it's my it's my little like shredded wheat basket here guys I I, I fully expect the first time that we get picked for a, a purge that we're gonna get, just get racked all right so I know that thatch Plus, the, all this is arrows. So we need thatch. Because if we're going to take down a pteranodon, we're going to have to do some stuff. And the crafting will only go and work as long as you're on. So as soon as you log off, the crafting stops. All right. I, I had a torch. Let me go grab my torch. And that honey's all spoiled, of course. Because the honey's no, yeah. Yeah, and I don't know, I was pretty sure I logged out inside, but apparently that wasn't the way the game saw it. I do know I gotta be careful though, because like, the dino wipes happen every 9 o'clock, and so like my my, uh, my defense kit that I had over here, it's gone. <laughs> I love how the the ambient noise can spook the snot out of you if you're not expecting it. Okay, these guys swap because that's not one way my, my body's trained on those. Alright, there we go. So I'm trying to remember where I can find crystal on this map. It's been a hot minute since I've been on the island. Because I need a little bit of crystal. And I remember there being some, like... All the way over there, right? Or is it all the way over there? I'm trying to remember. 
I gotta go through the jungle here. Oh dear God. Okay, I know. Where, I remember where I can get crystal at now. Ah. Uh. Okay, so we're gonna make some of the arrows. We got enough narcotics to make 48 of those. All right, so good there. What about bolas? Those require a hide. That's that's a precious resource here, is the hide. But we got to do what we got to do. Are we going to run out of thatch? We are. Okay. Other side of the river at the top of the mountain. I know, right? I, I was just remembering, it's the top of the mountain where I used to have... Uh, I had Austin Park there on my last playthrough. My ostentatious Brontosaurus. And I'm like... Ugh. Alright. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to need to... Well, we're going to need to repair this. Because, dear God. Alright. Forty-eight of those. Somewhere over there, guys, is the crystal. Oh, we need cementing paste also. That's not too hard to get. Oh, we need to make us a forge also. All right, so we got a few things to do. We, we, we need to get some, some female dodos tamed for egg reasons so we can make kibble because I know we're not going to be able to Hello, Nalka Termobulatov. Welcome. Sorry if I butchered that. I uh, I have a Oklahoman tongue, and it doesn't do well with words that look weird to me. I was going to leave you a spyglass as a gift. I was not sure if it would be okay. Yeah, I uh, I I kind of want to just go this rough in it. Um, because of the way this mod's built, that was something that uh. Alienated one and I was discussing though is like if you were to just drop a whole lot of stuff on somebody, right? Like get into their base and provide them a truckload of supplies, it quite easily could Yeah. <laughs> it could like it could boost your uh your threat. Come on, female dodo. Go down. I killed it. Huh. Yeah, oh yeah. I I still kind of want to, you know, respect the way the mods laid out. Alright, so before we get any further along on this, we definitely have to get across the the water. Because we're gonna need to we're gonna need to build a spyglass. Hmm. OK. 
Okay. Looks like I'm gonna cross somewhere. This is it. Swim faster. Swim faster, dude. Swim faster. Alright. Step one. Get across the water. Done. Check. Step two. Go through lots of dangerous jungle to try to find... Is anyone... Uh, he probably will be playing on this map. He's... Uh, he's pretty busy at the moment with Fortnite. But he's interested. Oh, I didn't want to level up while I was out and about doing nothing here. Now, I did find out something cool about this mod. When you die, you lose tribe experience. Which is something I actually like. I, I like that aspect of it. I like the fact that death... I like the fact that death is something that you have to respect in this game. Yeah, someone was actually, uh, I don't want to use the word complaining. More like bemoaning uh, the developer for it in their Discord saying, man, I really don't like the fact we lose experience when we die. I'm like, uh, what? <laughs> so the, the developer is actually thinking about turning that off, but um, I, for one, kind of like that. Come on. Come on, little dude. Get around the get around the mountain. Get to the top of the mountain. Oh, I recognize this. Oh yeah. Give me that explorer note. Give me that explorer note. There was an explorer note there, okay. Here's the crystal though. That's what we came after. None from there. None there. Maybe we need to use our axe instead? Oh god. What is up? Alright. Oh, man. There we go. There we go. Alright, gonna head to bed? Alright, thanks Per for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Two crystal. Oh yes, we're getting there. How much does the spyglass take? The super spyglass that we need takes five. All right, we we gotta. Oh. Yeah, we. Uh, I. I don't know how the Explorer notes work for me because I did this on solo. Uh, I don't think it's the same survivor, but it could be. Oh, there's a, here's a. All right. So I can at least build a basic scope, but the the basic spyglass isn't really what I'm hoping for. Okay. I really was hoping to uh, 
Shoot my crystal I needed here. I don't need much. Of course, I do know that using a metal pick would have got me a little bit more. Um, so the next place for crystal is like near McAdoo's place. This this poor Fiomia. It's like super stuck. We will leave it there. If something decides to go hunting around this area, maybe it'll go after the Fiomi instead of us. Boy, well, guys, wouldn't that be something if we're going to have, because of this mod, uh, some of these dinos are just rough and tough and, you know, John Wayne sandpaper, toilet paper variety. we might wind up having a situation where we're going to have to use, like, Trank Bullets to... Oh, there's a Shinehorn. I was telling Digrat that there were Shinehorns here, and she was... She was, uh... interested in possibly playing. Oh, those are some Ravagers frolicking in the, in the distance there. Oh, that's that's some other stuff frolicking in the distance. I hope she does play. I, uh, you know, I do too. Uh, she hasn't played on the Ragnarok map in forever, and the the biggest problem she has right now, and I I don't even have my terminal on me. Is the uh, the fact that the terminal can't be placed everywhere? Oh, that's a a dead shine horn, possibly. Oh, nope. It decided it didn't want to eat shine horn for dinner. Oh, of course, the first thing I find that, like, wants to fall down for me is level 40. I can't be adding to my stats off of no... No, sorry. You're going to have to be better than level 40 for me to take you home with me. Give me raw, my raw meat back. All right. This is Brutal Arc. Where the dinosaurs are tameable up to 300. If you're level 40, um, and you get like up to 75 levels, I'm sorry, but you're not going to cut it at all. Paraceratheriums, that's kind of cool. There's an Oviraptor. We're good there. Those are fairly easy to... Oh, fiddlesticks. Oh, dear God. Alright, so this swamp is going to prove to be a huge problem. Oh, 
Oh, no. We're officially running for our life. Found where the basilisks are. Oh, Lord Almighty. We're good. You, you, you do be basilisk. You do you. Because, uh, holy snot. I was like, I'm going to have to. You know, boop a snake or outrun a crocodile. No, no. What kind of insane person decides to put a basilisk in the middle of the swamp? The swamp's already scary. It did not need a laser spitting snake. Meanwhile, we're like skipping across the water to get that heck out of dodge. But yeah, the inability to just drop a terminal is possibly what the what Digrat's going to be very disappointed with, and possibly uh, won't want to play on here as much. She may make a few like quick travels. Any question marks? Not much. We are uh, avoiding as best as we can. No, we're not going to be able to get up there. Uh, okay, we need to go this way because we know. Hey, James, die. How are you? Oh, good to hear it. Good to hear it. We are hopefully getting to get some crystal. I'm having a hard time exactly remembering where all the crystal is on this map, but we've already explored the place toward the the western, southwestern area that had it, and we only got a few pieces. Oh, thank you, Stegosaurus, being just a Stegosaurus. All right. All right, so that's a lot of herbivore thwomping and stomping. I think I'm safe here for right now. Oh, that's what I get for thinking. That's what I get for thinking. Oh my god. Oh, uh, what level are you to be beating on me like this? Level 180. Oh dear god, where is it? Oh, they're at my feet. They're at my feet. Oh no, 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 no. I'm about to die to fall damage. All right. Oh, we needed to get like right there, and we were like right here. Ugh. Ah, that was that's rough. Okay. Yep, absolutely rip, ripperoni, riptastic, ripperoni and cheese, guys. I summon everything back because that's how we do this. All right, skins drop. Stuff. 
Drop the extra little things there. All right. And up oh, on barefoot. Okay. Dump all my food in there and my stone, because stone gets put in there as well. All right. Craft as many drugs as possible. Okay, and we have a mushroom. And they expire like forever from now, so that's pretty good. Alright, so the last thing we have is some crystal, some fibers. Alright. We need three more pieces of crystal. Boy, that's a long trek to the ice area. Hmm. What time is it? It's about 11 a.m. So we still got about an hour before dark. Like an hour of real person time, not arc person time. I'm pretty sure that spitter can't follow me the way I'm walking. good. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to try getting to that little summit that's over this way. And we'll find out. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at the coloration on this thing. level is it 340 too big to tame well I, you could tame it just too big to keep tamed and that's the problem is they'll it'll generate extra threat to have higher level dinos and they eventually will uh, turn on you so all right so far, everything we've managed to, to anger has been easily outran. Look at that. Oh my god, that feather light, guys. That's an amazing feather light. That's, that's some, uh, wow. Okay, this is the most dangerous, stupid thing I think I've done in a long time. But I believe there's crystal in the redwoods. And when the swamps have basilisks, the redwoods might be safer. So guys, gals total club members of all ages and in between we're about to go into the redwoods Just gonna say ribbon advance. Um, that yeah, that's that's the redwoods is usually uh, on just vanilla island, right? The 
the redwoods is usually a way that you just die. Uh, that's a raptor. Hot fudge. That that's 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 not even fair. Ow! Oh, oh, snake. Snack. Wait. Good lord, that's a lot of venom. Has it got me? I don't I don't hear combat music anymore. Oh no. I hear I heard one. Where are the stem berries we got? We got one stem berry. That will not do. Alright. It's still coming after us. Ah, uh, did I get away in time though? I think the answer to that's no this time. To, to quote the Rugrats, we were playing hide and go peek with the snake. Oh god, it's too close. Oh. Oh. The horror. The horror. Okay. Level 140 Titan Boa. Alright. Alright. Ripperoonie, Ripperoonie. Okay, so, um, and, and the dumb part about this is this is still Operation Tame Dodo, guys. Uh, all right, let's, um, let's repair, repair once we can. The Vasen Yartles? Hello. I'm not sure what the name translates into, but greetings. We do have Google Translate on standby. So we can find that out real quick. Uh, we will detect language and... Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. It says it's uh, Dutch. But yeah, I'm not sure exactly. That doesn't seem like it translates well. Alright, so we need to drop all these skins. And then drop this, and this. Equip our clothing on. Repair our shirt. Okay, so... Woof. I think we're going to be better off uh, changing Operation Tame a Dodo into Operation Build a Forge. So we, we need to start getting metal smelted at this point. Yeah, Netherlands, okay. Awesome, I'm in the United States. 
Uh, we need stone and hide. Oh. Hide comes at such a, a high premium in this game. Maybe we can find a, a small dodo. Like a baby dodo. Hey. So here's my issue, guys. Um, small dodos are going to be good for nothing, right? Except for laying eggs. And that's all we really need it for is dodo eggs. You're a level 60 male. You're not going to do me any good. So you're going to donate to our hide. Alright. That'll work. And... How big are you? Level 80. We could tame you. Does it do us any good per se, though? 160 female, 60 male. Alright, we're looking for a, a low level female. That's a level 320 male? My god, that'll take too many arrows to even do anything with. Female 220, still pretty high. Female 200, still pretty high. Alright, level 100 female. That's gonna be about as good as it gets. And it's actually pretty awesome looking, so... Let's start looking for Mejos. How many measures have we got so far? Five. No, we need like 20. Looking good still. Alright. So we are at twenty two. All right. All right, Dodo. Put him up. Got a dodo down, guys. Dodo down. Finally. Oh my goodness. It's not showing me any kind of info on the dodo either. There's usually like a... I need to figure that out. What have I forgotten? Because it's not showing me like any of the Dodo information. That might be a function of Brutal Arc, I guess. Like I can't tell where its taming stat is. Is 
Is it possible that the way it works is it's too low range to tame? No, oh, no, okay, sweet. So it begins. Alright. We have a dodo. It's hungry. Alright. We're going to politely run her back all the way to our base. So that she can start laying eggs. I gotta, I'm trying to remember. Dodo kibble doesn't require any vegetables, if I remember right. Oh, I didn't want to see another level up. I say that I, I you know, I, I didn't, but I do. Yeah, there was the last little beam that goes up to the sky to let everybody know, hey, we had to level up. All right, you get to be like. Right there. Actually, no. Lies all lies. You get to be, like, right there. So. I love the little yellow plumage it's got, though. It's pretty awesome looking. Alright. So we can put that there, that there. All of these. Okay, so. so. The question now is. I'm pretending like I didn't just hear it follow me, guys. Stay. And you are allowed to do anything you want, madam, but you must produce eggs. Do not forget to stop the dodo from following. Yeah, I, I, I forgot. It's been a very long time since I've actually tamed without the, uh, the terminal. Alright, so we got one dodo tamed. So let's see if we can... We need just a little bit more on the hide. And we probably just need like two rocks of stone. What are you? Whoa, you are a fairly large size roll rat. Oh, Here's something that might, might, and I say might, might donate hide our cause. How big are you? How big are you? Oh, big enough to where you start running away after you get shot once? What kind of noise is that? And I know that the... The older player in me is like so just dis disparaging the fact that I broke that decent sight. Oh man. I bet you if I were to kill him, I'd get a lot of hide. Don't think it's worth it though. Because uh, uh, that if is a mighty fine if, right? All right. Oh, oh, here we go. How big are you? You're only level 20? Oil, pearls, oh my god. Some good stuff, guys. The Chitin's pretty important, too, because we need to make cementing paste eventually. Um, 
Huh. I might be able to knock her out. That one I know I won't be able to knock out, probably. I know I saw a last restore around here. Yeah, you had nothing to do with that. Oh, you're not even tameable, sir. Got the old Steve Martin arrow thing into the head. It's like the tankiest dodo ever. Oh my god. Oh, that's a cool looking turtle, though. Look at it, guys. It's Leonardo. Oh, I, I, I so want to tame this thing. Like, the coloring on that thing is just epic. All right. Walking, flopping pincushion. <laughs> Only two hide. Oh, dear God. Okay. Where are we at? Fairy wise? Like nothing. Okay. <clears throat> I think we got all we need to make a forge, though. So I think we're okay to start producing with the forge. Well, that looks like the little five year old Fisher Price uh, Triceratops model, right? We got the basic coloring. That's kind of cool. That turtle, though, is super awesome. Feed Stimberry to tame. What? These things eat Stimberries to tame? Oh, they eat any berries to tame. Okay, never mind. So we definitely have the materials we need for the hide. All right. I know where we have where well we had a beehive, so I don't know if we have one there anymore. Dodo, so it begins. Level 148. Alright, so let's see what color on our threat menu jumped. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to see what this gets us. Oh, we have two perk points. Um, Alright, so we have to buy another rank here. Oh, what? <laughs> I'm confused. Because we had four ranks here. Okay.
All right. If there is a way to like, not neuter them, right? Because I know how you can neuter them. But if there is a way to like, make their vocal cords stop. Oh, that's right, we had extra of those. We'll be taking them in case we run into more snacks. All right. Um. So let's pull all the spoiled meat. Craft all that. Okay. So crafting in inventory. S plus refining forge. Pull. From what you read in the terminal, we can only have two perks going at a time. Well, that's... Yeah, you can only have two of them activated. Um, but I don't have any active. See, if I go try... See, when you got them, you can right-click them to activate them. Or right click to deactivate them. So I'm not sure why I wasn't able to learn the next one. Um, I'll, I'll bring that up to TC next time I I kind of pop around. Alright, so he has us a forge. And it's the yes, S plus forge, which lets us actually build a lot of things. All right. Uh, metal. Grab all the pitiful metal we have. And wood. We'll take in like 10 of it. And we'll start refining. So we're going to... We're going to build us... Alright, I think that's fine for what I got planned. So I need some walls. But I'll have to reconsult the manual, because I, I, you know, I've learned the perks, I just haven't activated them. Getting rubber banding, I guess I'll have to take a look at the uh, server specs because it's just me with a couple of mods on. There shouldn't be any kind of rubber banding like this. Charts. Wow. It says we've had five players on this server before. I, I doubt that. why I've seen the terminal scans every so often. Yes, it does. It does. Huh. I'm not seeing why it would rubber bandage this thing, guys. That, that's crazy. All right. All of Ark is rubber... Uh, that's, that's never good. All right. Okay, so even on solo, that that's some that's some janky stuff there. That's some janky stuff. All right, so walls, the wooden variety, because we're gonna start upgrading the wood. It's gonna require what, what's with bottleneck wood, of course, always with the wood. So 
every 40 woods a new wall. And we need a lot. Been the way for a while now since Extinction came out. Huh. Well, I know this. I never knew that the uh, the solo was rubber banding. I don't, I don't play solo as much as I used to, though. Is that an is that an alpha mega? That looked like an alpha mega out there in the water. Ugh. Sean Silvermoon, how are you? Oh, you are like bright green, level 180. And like right here. I mean. Of course it broke. Oh, cool. Well, congrats on the Nintendo Switch. Come on. This guy's about to break the uh, bolo, I know. Uh, of course he goes in the water. Why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he? Oh, my God. Am I able to pull my raw meat from where I'm at? Uh, raw meat. Pull all. Yeah, there's no way he's going to tame fast enough. Oh my god. Uh, stem berries. Eat all the stem berries. Maybe he will wake up before he dies. Not gonna happen. Ah. Hey, Soul Games, how's it going? Man, that was an awesome colored pteranodon, too. I'm sad to have wasted all the time and resources on that. Oh, there's bringing the escape. It's on Switch, Sean. Um, it's not worth it, though, on Switch. But it's on Switch. Um, it has oh, it has some problems on Switch, to say the very least. It uh... all right. What do you mean no snap points? There we go. What I thought. All right, so we need to. Is that the right snap point? All right, cool. I well, I thought that was. That's right. Okay. But yeah, it's it's on Switch, but the the Switch as cool as it is, it just can't handle it. It really can't. As much as I wanted it to, it just can't. And then add on top of that, right? On console, you don't get mods. So the Switch version is just really, really lackluster because of all that. Okay, 
Okay, there we go on all that. And we did that for two reasons. Um, reason number one was to upgrade our, our defenses a little bit. Reason number two was because of this. Boop on that. No. Get away from that. There we are. And then these are going to go right there like that. Arc so silly. It thinks I can put a wall there. Alright, so we'll put a door here and here. Oh, Sean, you're asking the wrong guy. <laughs> hey, Ruben, how's it going? Um, so this is a completely new server that we've only played on for three hours. It's Brutal Arc. Um, without going into details, the more you aggressively build, the dinosaurs will actually come after your server. So server uh, base tour on this server is itty-bitty. That's the base on the outside. And here's the base on the inside. And here's the dinosaurs. And, uh, well, I, I misrepresented myself. Here's the dinosaur. All right. And that is fecal, fecal, no eggs. All right. Alrighty, so we can drop them in there. Store all that there. So what's our threat looking like now? now I'm trying to see where the... Alright, so that bottom... So that yellow color is what it looks like, guys. This little yellow color over here. I know it's hard, probably hard to see on mobile devices especially. But that's the amount of threat we've generated for our dinosaur, our one dinosaur. Um, I don't know what this green is, but you can see here it shot up like a freaking rocket and then has stayed steady. And I also don't know what this, the raw score data, right? Total purifications occurred three. So since we started, there's been three times that some of his perk points earned from levels. Perk point spent. Okay. So there's been three purifications uh, geared up since we started. And they, they've all been uh, poor McAdoo. <laughs> but yeah, guys, uh, if you are just now joining, my name is Mag Synchro with Convertible Turtle Gaming. We are a family friendly stream and uh, channel. We stream ARC every Friday morning and Saturday morning at 3 a.m. Yeah, that would be you. You've been picked by the fickle finger of, whoops, a couple times. Um, eventually, I hope to... And that's a, a big eventuality, right? I, I hope to... Uh, I, I think I need to get my, my fibers again, because I'm building wooden walls still. All right, and... Grab all that spare wood and just build some walls here. Two wall tiles. I don't think I actually have the ability. Whoa. It's because of that wall tile. I, I have to duck to get in and out now. That's not as good as it used to be. Huh. I think that's going to be a door frame. Yeah, it's going to have to be a door frame. But yeah, no ray tracing for arc only DLSS. Uh, no, I'm not getting an RTX, man. I, uh, I, I'm, I'm happy with my 1060 I got. It does everything I needed to. 
once Arc actually starts making this a real optimized game, I'll start caring about stuff like that. But until then, I don't. All right. So, building wooden walls will definitely increase your threat level. Just saying. I I know. I know. Oh. But. But it won't increase my threat level more than you, I don't think. Is the big thing. Uh, Digrat, was, I was talking to her about the fact you've been chosen for all the purification so far. And she's like, you know, you don't have to outrun the bear, just the person beside you. And I thought, that is, that is some pretty wise words. That has some pretty wise words. Your base is bigger, so it might... Oh! My base is bigger than yours! Ah! Oh. Huh. That that becomes an interesting question, then. The, the, the bigger question now is, what's your material made out of versus what mine's made out of? Yes, Ruben! Oh, it's it's amazing how this mod works. Uh, yours is wood. Okay. Oh, oh no. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to rethink this a little bit. I might have to like. I'm. Uh, I'm. Uh, to quote one of my favorite musicals in the world, I've been reviewing the situation and I don't think I like how it is going oh my gosh alright so how can I so I think the green huh and after attack I'll need to do repairs this is this is very valid this is very valid oh my gosh okay all right. Well, my idea was to put the bottom floor all wood. But, uh, But yes, uh, Ruben, anything you do to add to your base will increase your, uh, or your, your standing overall. Uh, the number of dinosaurs you have, the amount of materials you have stored, uh, the number of structures you have placed, the number of players in your tribe, uh, their overall level, uh, all those kind of tie into how much threat you are, are getting. Um, well, that all said, first things first, we're taking down floor two. Oh my gosh. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to compact the snot out of this. All right. Um. I want the second floor like that still. That's not gonna change. But a lot of this is gonna have to be rearranged, like to the nth power. Okay. So if I take one of these torches, let's do this, let's do this. Let's take out all the torches. Um, boy, I really don't want to build a second storage, but I really need a second storage for just transferring stuff. Of course I'm missing wood. Why wouldn't I be missing wood? Uh, but yeah, Brutal Arc is a, is a really cool mod, uh, Ruben. The way that it's built is the dinosaurs are bigger. Uh, you, As the server administrator, I was allowed to choose the leveling range. The mod creator recommended uh, a max level of 300 for taming. 
and a max level of 600 for wild dinos. So the biggest dinosaur I can see here, as far as max level for wild, is 600. Uh, plus any kind of actual species bonus, right? Because some dinos are bigger than others, etc., etc. at all. Um, but, but, um, you get a taming range. And the, the recommended was uh, 300 for the expected tame range. And so basically the server would constantly go through, find all the dinosaurs, find any that are under 300 and bring them up. Uh, have an RG might be okay. Only flyers can reach you right now. Okay, um, yeah, and the the it it will absolutely, absolutely as Mackie just mentioned, uh, she's only got flyers, so she's she's mostly safe. Uh, but she's not 100% safe. So where she built her base at is pretty high up. So it's going to be like RGs and Quetzals and that kind of stuff. All right. So I need to... Yeah, I think if I do that, I'll be okay. So let's... Let's um, place this right here. Excellent, and now we're just going to demolish this because we don't really want the uh, we don't want the wealth from it. It's kind of funny the way that's kind of going, right? All right, so some little flyers. Oh, Demorphodons. And they're called Brutal Dinos. Um, so when they come in, they're not the standard stats of the other dinos either. Which also makes it pretty interesting. Alright, so we got that, we got that. We are going to pick up this bed. We're going to pick up this gravestone. I th think? Yeah, you, you noticed, yeah. Yeah, they uh, they're they're not kidding around. This this mod is is pretty awesome for stuff like that. All right. All right. So this is gonna be like my little cubby hole here. All right, so we've got the main base here. Oh. Okay, it's still... They're right there, guys. Oh. All right. I don't want to pick up the threat suppressor, but I need to pick up the threat suppressor. Oh. Pick this up. So the threat suppressor item is... Whoa, it's obstructed. How is it obstructed? Oh my gosh. Okay. Are you kidding me? There we go. That's another one of those archisms, guys, where you can have something underneath the top, uh, ceiling, but don't ever try to put something under a ceiling. I, I was able to place it down. I just wasn't able to 
You can place an item without putting it in. Yeah, yeah. I, it's old habit, Ruben, from forever ago. Alright, so... Just the way I learned how to play, and the people that taught me. Okay, so... Crafting a smithy. Oh, I'm missing for that. Two metal ingots, stone. Okay. So we got we got this a little bit more contained. I, I'm I'm slightly okay with this. I may not work with the ceiling over it at all, Macadoo. I, there are some pieces that won't work with the ceiling over it that when you try to put a ceiling over it afterwards will let you do it just fine. It's one of those arc things. I uh, Yeah, Arc is uh Arc is the most incomplete released game ever. Alright. So I need some stone and I need some metal. We get metal from these. And with Carquinos on the beach, it is really dangerous for me to be out here at night doing this. Well, we'll go back to Gamma 3 like we did yesterday so you guys can see everything. Oh, son of a biscuit. These got flipped again. Oh. Where's my metal going? Alright. Alright. I almost went and tried to mine this level 4 e Carbenimus, I uh, don't know how that would have went. What am I doing here? I need stone out of this. Ended up rebuilding, which was fine as I needed to do some changes to make it more secure. <laughs> it's it's this mod. It, it makes you have to rethink some stuff. I'm going to have to probably redo my whole entire base a couple times. Uh, I... Uh, I need to make it way more compact. Um, when I get to metal, I'm probably going to make it like a uh, a PvP base. Where it's just ramps on the sides and like a, a hatch on top to go down into. God, I want to take these, but I don't want to have to deal with that roll rat. Oh my, 25, that's like 40 blue gems. Oh. Tell you what, if you were dropping redstones, sir, you and I were going to have to rumble. But you're not dropping redstones. Alright. Yeah, it is. I'm, And there's a lot of reasons behind that. Because early release, at this point, basically means unfinished pile of garbage. You don't have very much room for tames. Yeah, that's... I, uh, I, don't, I don't know how I'm going to do tames on this one. That's one of the things I really like about this mod, is it's really breathed life into the game for me. I mean, boss fights, don't get me wrong, those are fun. But... But, uh, all I'm saying is, the, the idea that I don't have to gear up for a boss fight and collect all these materials, and I have a... It, it's it's almost daily uh, I can get wrecked by a boss. Oh, I'm missing the wood? Alright. No, no, I'm not. Okay, so now I got a smithy. 
We're going to put my smithy like right here. Sure has made it more interesting. It, I, uh, I, I'm totally in with that. I, and yeah, if your base is smaller than five tiles, oh. I'm almost up to level seven now. And what's interesting on this one, Ruben, so there's there's five pieces of wealth for a brutal arc. And I'm just gonna pull it up real quick. Here's the here's the mod uh, link. But the wealth system Where is it? Gameplay mechanics. So, yeah, there's there's wealth, strategic, ecological, husbandry, and alliance, and that's the five categories of threat. And uh, in those, trying to see if they branch out what all that is. But basically, the stuff you have, the tiles you have. Uh, how many dinos you have, the plants you're growing, and the number of alliances you have in your tribe. Those all ramp up how likely you are to be attacked. So basically how much you have tried to bend the arc to do what you want it to do. All right, so we got a smithy. I need to learn myself metal tools. Metal, no. Weapons, melee. So I got enough metal for that. What do I not have? I don't have the hide, oh God. Okay. There are wyverns, are there not? Uh, no wyverns, but there are rock drakes. There are rock drakes on, on this one. Uh, and for the attacks, I, I don't know. You, you might be attackable by a wyvern on this one. I don't know if it actually will put in dinosaurs that aren't on the map when they go to attack you. I, I gotta I gotta relook at that, but you can get rock drakes to come after your base, and they will climb after you. Um, all right, so we need a little bit more metal. Okay, we will. That's why you didn't build out a stone. Yeah. Um, that's a lot of raw meat. Oh, God. And what this reminds me of a little bit is Seven Days to Die, which is an amazing game. An amazing game. Why is it you don't have all maps, say, Ragnarok, and before you still get all dinos? Um, that That is... That is a lot of English uh, that didn't go to quite together, Ruben, for my brain. Uh, stone and metal are no problem for you. But yeah, you got you got plenty of it nearby, and you can always hop over to Ragnarok and grab some. All right. So we're gonna feed the forge. I'm not, I'm not quite sure what you're getting at there, Ruben. Okay, so we 
got that. I'm gonna have to make a campfire in a little bit. Don't have Scorched Earth Aberration, just Basic Arc. Oh, I have all of them, man. Um, I've, I've got all of them. I've, I have everything purchased. I got the Season Pass. Um, but we're exploring this particular map because a lot of our members uh, don't have everything. And so this is an actual shared server. It's a public server that anyone can play on. We didn't want to, you know, take anybody out. Pull just those five. All right, and weapons, melee. Oh, congrats, we leveled up, yay. Yeah, let's see here. Tribe menu perks. Ranks required two. That might be the number of ranks I have to still purchase, maybe? Max's health by 5%. Um, we'll, we'll grab the, so maybe I have to get, to. yeah, I'm confused, so I'll have to figure that out. Oh, it does work on single player, Ruben. <laughs> it does work the same on single player, um, except for you're always chosen for the attack. So if you don't mind getting, oh, that's a red gem. Oh my god, it's 25 red gems. <sighs> we'll still red. We will we will chance our life with red. Yeah, we got we have a couple of other mods. Uh come on. Come on. Oh. Look at that. Oh, that. Oh, man, that feather light there. Oh, my God. These feather lights are just killing me. The memory that these guys have is killing me, too. There's just so many beautiful ones over here. Go away, Arc Popcorn Chicken. Go away. Ha. Can't get me. Ha ha. Uh, I got 23 normal arrows. Did you get tired of me? I think I got tired of me. We're fine with that. We're absolutely fine. But there's a lot of neat things that this mod does, Ruben. Um, so wood, fiber, and some thatch. Wait, this is not what I'm looking for. This is wood, fiber, thatch. Because this is the this is the thing that kind of sold me on this. Crafting, foundation. Oh, if I had a parachute, I, w I could parachute off of there without a problem. But check this out, right? So here we are. We can't build anywhere unless it's where we designate as our base. So there's no there's no temporary bases. There's no temporary taming stations. 
there's none of that make, that makes an open server like this a, a problem because everybody only gets one base. Uh, you can have on our on our way that we built it, you can have one mobile base, one stationary base, and a temp base with your claim blocks, but your but your group has to be big enough level to handle all that. All right. Come here, popcorn chicken. Boy, howdy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Where did... Oh, and he ate my... My hide... All right, this thing's got to die. It's the bigger problem right now. I really need to build like a metal pike, which is what I'm trying to get to also. God, little 200 copies. Oh, thank you, God. All right. So what are the attacks like? Uh, what can you expect to see for if you were attacked? So, uh, Makadu can answer that a little bit better than I, because she's been attacked a few more times than I have. But, so what's going to happen is there's going to be some drums, war drum sounding. It depends on exactly uh, what Macadu is saying. It depends on what your base is built like, uh, where you're at, what level you are, uh, how many times you've defended yourself successfully. The game learns every time it attacks your tribe. Uh, it learns from attacking your tribe. So there's some AI built into it. Like if it gets, if the, if the, uh, the horde gets gunned down, by a, a truckload of turrets, then the next time a horde gets sent to your base, it's going to be spongier dinos, so they can actually absorb those bullets first. Um, so that, that's, you know, pretty cool. If you are by the water, um, and like on the water, or if you're up high, then you're gonna be attacked by a lot of flying dinos, and instead of ground dinos. If you are kind of where I'm at, you're going to get a mix of ground and air dinos. Um, if you've got spikes kind of laid out, then some of the, like, you'll have turtles come after you. Some of the tankier dinos. It, it's it's really, really well done um, for all that. Yeah, I get flyers. Maybe, we'll get lots of, maybe I, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to get. Um... I know I'm gonna get got if I if, if it happens, <laughs> because I am nowhere near ready for defense here. Uh, on the plus side, out of all of the stats, the only thing that I'm really generating a lot of threat on is the. Uh, oh, we're just gonna drop this. Fuck, oh, yeah, fudge, 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 fudge. We uh, forget about that. We do not want any extra wealth if we can avoid it. Speaking of which, time to drop these and drop those. Oh, I don't know about dropping that. Oh. Yeah, it, it does. And that, that's the one thing I really enjoy about the, the premise. Okay, so we're gonna need more metal ingots than that, but that's fine. Because now we have a metal hatchet. And we'll drop that. We don't need that wealth. We got metal tools! But, uh, oh, you, you missed it earlier today, Ruben. I, I was trying to get some crystals, so I went after Squirrel Kitty World. Oh yeah, GG, all the medals. 
Look at that. I got two pieces of metal instead of one. I'm living large now. Actually, what I really need to do... Is that a dead dino or is that algae? That's algae. What I really need to do is I need to go back toward the crystal. Oh, Compy. I have had enough. Until I get my poking spit, I don't want to have any compies after me anymore. That's all. Alright, am I, uh... My... My kit... Okay, <laughs> that I brought when I started over on this island. All I brought with me was... A uh, stack of prime cooked meat. A canteen. And my terminal. Oh. Last time you were getting four pieces of metal with stone pick. Was it four pieces? Because I was pretty sure I only got one piece of metal with the stone pick. There's four with that metal pick. All right, here we go. Oh. And this is a scary path. It, it, it does vary a little bit, but the metal will normally get more regardless. All right. It'll be, once I can start taming some of these um, shine pets, it'll be a lot better too. Okay, that's just a parasaur. All right. Pretty sure that's the heel. So just gonna go around this mountain again. All right, here we go. No terrain on saddle available. Oh, I'm my level's high. I, it's just this mod. Uh, when I say this, Ruben, the the mod makes a lot of this really super difficult. Um, some of these dinos lose torpor pretty quick. Um, and every time you tame a dino, every dinosaur you tame, it actually increases your threat level. And so the game I'm playing right now, for the most part, is build what I can while keeping my threat low. And that crystal hasn't respawned yet. I need the crystal. Oh, God. We're going to be stupid and try this again. And every time you die in the game, um, you lose experience for your tribe, and we're trying to avoid. Oh, ow.
Oh, wow. You don't see them on the ground often. You don't see level 40s all that often either. Dodo egg kibble helpful or not worth it? Um, so, it, it's going to be super helpful. But we, And we got one Dodo for uh, for its eggs right now. And we're, we're just kind of trying to see how our threat is advancing with that one Dodo. Oh, dear. I don't need a crystal to know that those are Ravagers. Oh. Okay. I gotta say that the cross aberration mod that we have on this map also. Uh, really interesting. And really well laid out with the where the spawns kind of come out. The, so hats off to those guys who made that. It has provided a, uh, a never-ending source of fear for me so far. I mean, basilisks in the swamp, ravagers over in the jungle, carquinos on the beach. <laughs> uh, we are heading toward the crystal that's over by the green obby. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, that's. I know there's some crystal over there. I know there's some crystal over. Um, by the. Watch a doodle. Uh, snow area, but that's way too dangerous for me to go. I don't even want to think of what aberration dinos are in the snow zones. I, I know the nameless. Oh, son of a biscuit. No more on this metal hill? No, no. I, I harvested earlier with the stone pick and it only got two pieces. Okay, we really need to get us some flint. We really need to make some arrows. Oh, dear God, that's not what we were hoping to find in this swamp. Oh, dear God, run, run, run. Take a race of action. Any alphas? Oh, there are alphas on the map. We just haven't, we haven't had the uh, displeasure of finding them yet. Oh. Oh, okay. McAdoo's found a couple. Oh, a little mag avatar is exactly what I think about the thought of alphas being on this map. Lots of poot noises. This looks like a no pole. Yeah, we're, 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 we're fine. We don't need to go in there. Just seen them. Okay. We, we, we have to go this way to get to where we're trying to go. Oh. Oh, two of them. Oh, one's level 160. I don't know what the other one's leveled. 
Alright, we'll find out though. Oh, just a 60 though. Okay, that's good. This other one right here we are. Uh. Uh. Ribbon. Why do you have to say things like that? Why do you have to say things like that? I'm after Crystal. Crystal's inside the cave. Oh, dear God, that's a snake. All right, I don't remember the cave. Oh, that's a snake, too. Oh, we're about to die. We are so dead. We are so D-E-D -E -D dead. All we have here is a failure to communicate. Ah. Okay. Okay. That's how we'll play it. That's how we'll play it. All right. Yep. Absolute rip of toony. Let's uh, drop our skins. Oh, it's all right. It's no worries. No worries, Ruben. That's the way the game gets played, right? But, but if I mean that's that might be how we have to get our crystal. We got some materials though. I mean, some's better than none, right? Grab our arrows back and our other arrows. Grab these. So how much XP? I, uh, I don't know quite how much I lost. I can go over here and take a look. We are getting close to the next level. So we... we about a fifth, about 20% of what we have a level, so it's not too bad. Um, so we, we didn't de-level, which can happen, supposedly. Let's pull some wood. Let's, uh, smelt that metal. Alright. Okay. Uh, I think at this point, I'm just going to build the basic scope and wait for a day cycle so I can get the... Because I can get the basic scope. Uh, it's spyglass, not scope. All right. Just the spyglass. Bam. Oh, I'm missing wood. Ugh. Oh, no, no. Not personal XP. Tribe XP. Now, if it was personal XP, oh, maybe I did. Wow. Yeah, I lost personal experience points. I, I'm, it's both. Wow. I'm back to zero experience in to level 103. This is, this is amazing. This is some EverQuest level kind of madness. I'm all for it, guys. Alright, so now I got that. Um, Bobas. But you I can make a couple of those. Alright. Let's uh, repair the bow. And while we're at it, let's craft us another one, just in case. Alright. So we got... 
Bola's available. We got a spyglass available. The last thing we need is let's grab us some meat. And do we have any narcotics? No, there we don't. What about here? We have some here. Let's just grab them. Drugs. Yeah, let's make a hundred of these. We can craft five. We'll, we'll be fine with five. Uh, max level. So max level is 105 before you take on bosses. Each boss you beat increases your... Uh, if you beat them on the high, highest uh, setting and you beat um, each of the bosses on each expansion, it'll give you five extra levels. So all of the island bosses will give you five extra levels at alpha. Uh, if you beat the uh, mana core on Scorched Earth, it'll give you five extra levels as an alpha. And if you beat uh, uh, Rockwell, it'll give you five extra levels. I don't believe that they've actually done that for the Alpha Titan yet, though. Alright. This will help a little bit. Alright, so there we go. How, how big a... Uh... That's level 80? Oh, and it's a female, too. Oh, dear great googly moogly, guys. We're gonna, we're gonna have to get this. Oh, please don't be near that tickle chicken. I don't think I can handle it if it's near that tickle chicken. Actually, that tickle chicken will be dead. So, max level, like, is 120 now. Oh, it's like the Heath Ledger color, too. Alright. I like the coloring on this thing. It needs to go down. And I think it will this time. Awesome. Alright. Look at the coloring on this, guys. Oh my god. That's that's amazing. That's beautiful is what that is. And I'm just going to be doing this for... For transportation reasons. It's the only reason I'll be using this thing is for transport. So the fact it's level 80 is fine. So we're, we're going to be streaming until this guy is ours. And that's going to be... We'll make it all the way back to the house. Yeah, the the loss of personal experience points was kind of different. I wasn't expecting that back to do. But it looks like it won't take you below the level you were. So that's kind of good. I have 72.5 experience and now I have oh wow um, huh I know you get experience for gathering stuff
I hear it snoring. All right. Just in case we need those on it. Keep keep harvesting berries and stuff. Oh, guys. So in about probably 10 minutes we'll have this. And that'll be our, our second dino. This went poorly last time. Ah. Oh, little Tranodon, you need to eat. Thank you for eating. Thank you for getting up to a little bit more. So for uh, every two pieces of meat, or every piece of meat, it needs about two narc. So when it gets to about 50%, 8% each. Ruben, I forget, sir, are you a PC player or are you a console player when it comes to ARC? I'm trying to remember. I know we have a lot of console players and very few PC players, but I'm trying to remember who all the PC players are. I don't like getting all this wealth all this over and over again. What's going on? There we go.
Oh, I forgot to refill my canteen while that was going on. I wonder why I wasn't getting that with the dodo, which is weird. There was some definitely some glitches over that dodo earlier. Maybe it's because it was... well no, this is under level 2. take forever to tame without your mushrooms at least we can make the mushrooms on the server because the cross aberration we can go to the aberration stuff and then go to unlearned ingrams like level 10 we should be able to learn glow sticks And there's a glider suit. Now, these new fangled things, though, right? Like this climbing pick and this climbing pick are different. Can only be crafted at a cross aberration workbench. Okay, interesting. Doubt that's destructible. Well, that's what I get for doubting. Holy garbage. That's a big old rock. Alright, arrows. Mm. Have you checked out the new additions to S Plus yet? I have not. I, uh,. I don't really think I want to be testing them over on this side of the fence. I, th I think I might pop back to Ragnarok and check them out, though. Some of them looked okay. A lot of them are automated arc. It's like a big, huge kind of fight that puts fire 911. And the guy who made S Plus is having is like, each time one of them improves their mod with something, the other one steals it. But uh, all the S Plus stuff will usually be here the bottom you can't freeze an open portal and you can't open a frozen one you need to close it first okay so I know they had a lot of things that they kind of changed a little bit like uh, some bug fixes. I know the one that I was kind of interested in is the the gadget gavager. That. I don't like. Mm. 
That, I, I... That's broken. That's super broken. Yeah, that, that... The... Okay, I don't see that here. Crystal Cracker. Oh. Crystal, okay. The Getcha Crystal Breaker. Oh, wow. Huh. Do they have a way to collect them now? Is it, I mean... Still S plus, so let's do S plus. Cause that that just Wow. Look at that. Yeah, I feed the gacha using as well as the cluster of crystals and opens them. That that's Yeah, that that's a little silly. Oh and these, the seamless crop squares. Those look kinda neat. I might I might play with them a little bit. Like, change my, my garden out to those. But yeah, the gadget thing is uh, pretty busted from, from just the description. Back to farming thatch while we're at it. Yeah, the, the hitching post, um, supposedly it actually has a, a larger range. But I don't even see the point in the hitching post now. I mean, so the the main reason why you would use the hitching post, right, was for for mating reasons. And now you don't have to have dinosaurs on wander for mating. So I, I don't know why you would need the hitching post. I mean, the leash is just a better option. You can choose from a list which is not a hitch on engine. Yeah, that's pretty good. But now, the uh, server actually was updating the, the mods when I started to get on tonight. I was like, well, what mods are updating? <laughs> Do believe the leash is available on all maps? Uh, that's true. You have to be on extinction to get the leash. Um, but <sighs> oh, pardon me, Turtle Club. I'm I'm waiting for this guy to finish his nap.
I really want to get access to that honey, but... It's going to be a while. Come on. Getting closer. I mean, I could bring one of the. Actually, you got the gotcha stuff to stop using the gotcha a while ago. Did not have the patience to wait. Oh, well, that's fair. Uh, automated arc automates a little bit of the gotcha stuff um, because it feeds them for you and it collects the crystals, which is the whole reason why I got automated arc in the first place was the crystal collection. Um, I might start redoing my, my inventory system. I mean... I don't know. There's a lot of things that Odd Arc does that I like. Hello, bulb dog. Your only crime is being a bulb dog. Man, this thing's got some hit points. Alright. True, but you get no crystals from Ark Ark. Um, that's not true, actually, though. We, we, we've, we've gotten lots of crystals from our, our gotchas. On automated arc, they they get sucked up in the uh, vacuum sorter that we have nearby our gotchas. Like all of this already regrew, which is fine and dandy by me. But all right, we got like two or three more feedings to go. That's what I need to do, is I need to do this also. I need to figure out what we need to make for one of these. Um,
We need wood for that. Okay. And we also need to know where our Sleeping Beauty is at over here in the dark. Huh. You do not use the vacuum sorter. Okay, so um, the vacuum sorter definitely helps with that. Uh, there's also the, the fertilizer. It's the um, the fertilizer silo. That actually redistributes the um, owl pellets to the gotchas. Or it's the it's one of the things. There's there's one of the things that actually redistributes owl pellets, and that's what we use to feed them because they're always eating owl pellets on their own at that point, and it, it helps a lot. And yeah, the vacuum sorter uh, in the console just sucks it all up. But that's also you know we did I I did. Do I have enough for any of these two pillars? I need to make two more pillars just to be sure. But yeah, if you're not using any of the automated arc stuff that kind of automates it, then you're going to be in the same situation there. One of these two is going to be the exact height we need. The other one's not. One more. Two more bites, maybe. Oh, that's a supply drop. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave that alone. All sorts of alone. Awesome. You there. I'll take these off you. And let's go. If you still need rock or something other than that, help. Um... Pellets will eventually make crystal. It takes a lot of pellets, though. Okay, this Pteranodon clearly doesn't like me. I tried to use the uh, trigger to attack button and it didn't want to. Alright. Here we go.
But yeah, it takes a lot of owl pellets, but eventually it will um, Yeah, we're about to use this. So... But is that because of the snap points for this? That's that's a better question at this point. That's the S plus pillar. Here's the wooden pillar. There we go. That's not the pillar, that's not the perch we wanted. Okay. Mm, what's the name then? Ah, uh, that's what we wanted. Small nest, I think, is what we wanted. So let's look, let's look for nest. Medium nest. All right. We need thatch. We will go get thatch. We're gonna make this nest. There we go. Check that out, guys. Check that out. And this is where he wants to be now. Is in his nest. You can rotate the perch. I mean, it's about all you can do with it is rotate it and set it. Set the types. Sweet. And 
and it's a flyer. We're going to make sure it's public. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the reason why we wanted this mod. Um, instead of using the the uh, postal mod that we had, the, the you know, the, the tracking rings and all that, I, I went with this one. And it allows, in my opinion, a, a lot more... A lot more uh, flexibility. It'll actually each nest will hold like up to three, maybe. Oh, well, we're now level eight. We need one more perk. So yeah, we got to get one more rank. All right. Oh wait, what? So now, now this, now this tier. Okay, cool. All right, well, guys, we have our, we have our, uh, our flyer mount. We have our dodo. Uh, hey, Bull James, how's it going, man? And now we're gonna, we're gonna call it quits. Will the flyer fly home if you die? It will not, Macadoo. It will not. So that's that's the catch. That's it. They will. They will actually interfere with each other. Each of these mods will. But the flyer will not home, fly home if you die. And since we're trying to make this a little bit more on the more difficult side and make death kind of really scary on this server, um, Dino Loss needs to be part of that. But I, I felt like Dino Organization kind of would be helpful. But yeah. Been good? Well, I mean, doing pretty good, man. Doing pretty good. About to take a break. Uh, we'll be streaming, guys, in another half, uh, hour and a half. Uh, Twilight Biscuits, we are on the hunt for Poe Hearts. We have been pretty good with them so far. We actually are about halfway done with the 16 we started with. We only need eight more, and we will be totally finished. Um, we need to pull the meat and put all the berries over here, too. But, yeah, guys, it has been super awesome. Oh, I like this, by the way. I like that that right there. That's an S-plus advantage that I am so happy with. That, that right there makes my, my whole entire life just so much easier. But yeah, guys, it's been fun playing with all you Turtle Club. I think it's been a blast. We are going to drop these two pillars and drop this thing because we don't need it. But the rest of it we absolutely want. Uh, we are going to call it quits here. Um, going to end with cooking some food, I think. Because we got to get some food cooked. That's why we made this campfire. But it's been cool, guys. It's been a blast. Um, absolutely. Turtle Club, thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. I'm going to have myself a good little break. You all have a, a good breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever you're about to do, Turtle Club. This is Mag Synchro saying, have a good one. And thanks for watching Mag vs. Wild. Take care.